Welcome back to my channel and today I am here at the old transport museum in Clarksdorp and uh, well it's pretty much almost an empty building, a ghost building. The transport museum as, as uh, a functioning museum is pretty much no more and uh, I've decided to bring my DJI Spark just do some filming of uh, the items that are still here while they are still here so that we can remember them as part of our history. The Transport Museum was opened in 2006 and is located near Dawkinsville at the old goods sheds of the railways. In the early years, it was a great attraction to tourists and visitors and a museum to be proud of, but it has, over the last number of years, become defunct. Interestingly, the Transport Museum is often mentioned in tourist brochures and articles about Clarksdorp, but very little remains for anyone to see. There is no curator on site and no entry control. When one searches online for information about the uh, Transport Museum, very little other than the address and various telephone numbers can be found. Uh, much, most of these telephone numbers don't even work or they endlessly ring with no one ever answering them. If one searches online for the Transport Museum in Clarksdorp, you find photos of what it once looked like in the beginning, in the early years. And it seems to have been quite the attraction with many items um, of the early years of transport in the area. What is left seems to be more appropriate to a junkyard than a museum. And one can see there is no maintenance or care. The museum is often still used by photographers as a spot to do couple, family and even fashion photo shoots. But as a museum, it uh, is unfortunately no longer. There are two locomotives which are plinth at the Northwest Transport Museum in Clarksdorp. This locomotive has the markings of PPC, which is the Pretoria Portland Cement Company. The locomotive was donated to the museum by PPC. PPC used this locomotive as number two at their PPC number two works, a cement factory at Slurry, which is about 20 kilometers east of Muffy King. This 080T tank locomotive was built for PPC in 1938 by Hunslet Engine Company of Leeds in England according to a base design that was exported since 1930 to the railways in the Gold Coast and Nigeria in West Africa. The locomotive has works number 1900 and boiler number 60512. It has a cylinder diameter of 18 inches by 23 inches stroke. This is the North British 27587 of 1955. This locomotive was donated by Angler Gold Ashanti. In South Africa, several gold mines used these locomotives. This particular example was used by Val Reef's gold mine at Orkney, near Clarksdorp. It was plinthed for the first time at number two shaft at Val Reef's. This engine has works number 27587 and was built in 1955 for valve reefs. The boiler number is 60512 and valve reefs donated the engine to the museum. <laughs> 